Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has pledged to destroy terrorists after a pair of railway attacks in Moscow claimed at least 38 lives. Authorities say two female suicide bombers carried out the attacks at the Park Kulturi and Lubyanska metro stops during morning rush hour. The security response to the strikes was evident far beyond Moscow. In our post-9-11 world, uh, these very localized events become global counterterrorism security matters. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. So far, evidence from Monday's train attacks is consistent with the work of Chechen militants. The strikes were the deadliest in Moscow in more than six years, and they led to a quiet increase in subway security as far away as the United States. You have a ramp up of security surveillance that takes place that stretches from London to New York City to Chicago to Washington, D.C., uh, most notably New York City. They, they react extraordinarily fast when one of these global events take place and push out uh, actually some very good analysis, uh, some of the best I've seen in the government uh, sphere regarding what this may mean to their city. In Moscow, life outwardly was returning to normal only hours after the attacks. That's a new uh, Israeli model, as I call it, uh, when it comes to these crime scene investigations on very public uh, venue sites. Uh, the, the goal is to try to get as much evidence, pick up the bodies, take all your pictures, collect all the DNA, and process the scene in 90 minutes or less, and let people go about their business. What they're trying to do is to send that psychological message that uh, business is going to go back to usual, there's no disruption, and they're trying to take away a little wind out of the sails of the terrorist organization 